Okay, we're calling in ceremonial space. We are allowing for these new beginnings as we join together today to bring forward such a strong light that we can shine on in all directions, no matter what. But we're really being called forward to hold our own truth. May we become Makali, the black goddess. May we become Medusa. Or may we become more refined, like Mary Magdalena, to hold the space for who we actually are today in this new moon, starting with these small steps, but always hitting that tone, that truth tone, hitting that purity, the purity of light of who you are. Do not dim your light for anyone else, but know that kindly elevate yourself so others too, rude, not rude, uh, whatever people, places you go to, allow for yourself to be that shining star and know that you are it and have fun with it. These are the messages that are coming forward for us as we're gonna call upon the directions now. We're calling in the directions so that we can hold space for that one who we really are as we go through this new weaving, this new creation of the web. There's a new web being built and it's called your life. Facing now the energy of the East, where the earth element exists, we bring in that golden light in us, on us, through us, and around us, reminding us of that the gold is the initiate initiation. Every day we have an opportunity to unfold as the golden light embraces us in the early morning, in the late evening, but through the whole day. Hold your golden vibration no matter what. Feel your auric field supported by this element of gold. Earth the gold. Allow for the gold to flow through your veins, in your nerves, in your knowing in your skin, in your existence. You are worth gold. Remind yourself of that. And we're calling in this grounded stability, the confidence and the manifesting energies of the element of earth. Feel yourself rooting now as we call upon the wisdom of equanimity. Wisdom of equanimity wisdom of equanimity as I chant ma kam ma kam ma kam thank you for being with us now we now turn to the north and we call upon the element of air the currents of these elements exist within us and the wisdom of those elements lifts us up so that we can experience our fifth dimensional self here and now. As we face the north, we're calling in the element and the energy of freedom, of non-judgment, of knowledge of the heart, from the heart, through the heart, and the higher mental bodies. Feel this energy enter now. We call upon the all accomplishing wisdom. It goes into the back of the heart and the front of the heart. And we chant now. Ma 
yam ma yam ma yam feel yourself building this net this expanded awareness of the primordial wisdom that is all in you, on you, through and around you, like you're in the net, receiving the air now, facing now the energy of the West, we're calling in the element of the fire. Fire is red, like the ruby here. We're calling in transformation, creativity, intention, and spiritual will in action. The wisdom of discernment is coming here. We choose what we let in and we hold the vibration high now despite what is going on in front of our eyes at times. We discern to receive love, generosity, deep knowledge, deep wisdom awaken now within us with this crystalline DNA. And from the energy of the West, that deals with the solar plexus and our light shining, we call and chant Ma Ram, Ma Ram, Ma Ram. Feel the wisdom holding you deeply, steadily in the light. Now, the energy of the south, where we call in the element of water, blue like a cloudless sky. Here with the water, we call in adaptivity, connection, dreaming, and imagination. We call upon mirror-like wisdom. What is being mirrored to me now? Where can I hold myself in higher compassion, higher wisdom? How can I dance with this that's being shown to me now? Be grateful and connected to this watery knowing as we chant ma mum ma mum ma mum powerful sanskrit sounds deep knowledge receiving that deep knowledge through the crystalline energies and the cells the space between ourselves and the atoms, bringing in and holding this wisdom practice now as we face the center of our ceremonial space. In the center, we call upon space and emptiness. The Tibetan Buddhists call about the Shunyunta, the space, the akash, the ether, the tip top of the pyramid of our lives that binds everything together and awakens all the elements in us, on us, through us and around us. The shunyunta, the center space is white like new fallen snow. The qualities are universal awareness balance of pure consciousness and the rainbow body cells. 
the wisdom of all encompassing nature resides in the center of the center of the center stepping in now into your heart center and allow yourself to feel a vortex a spiral lifting you upward as we chant ma ah ma ah ma ah today we are inviting a new way of being and we're inviting it because we have the experience to do so we are enlightening ourselves with the help of this new beginning where we can hold ourselves upon the reflection of our lives and ourselves so that we can see with kinder, more loving eyes, so that we can hear that internal yearning of embodiment of our truest, most divine self in this time, in this timeline. Today, we begin the eclipse season that helps us, lifts us to move forward in a deeper way, where even grief is seen as an opportunity to rebuild, to regenerate, to hold compassionate wisdom for all, but mostly for yourself. So that the words are more authentic. If you are the one holding someone else, or if you are the one holding your inner self, bathed now in this compassionate dance of knowing of sensibility, of allowing. So you bring in the powerful ascended master called Mary Magdalena. The purity of the air that you inhale, imagine these mountainous ranges in south of France where the air is pure. The land is vast. Her cave was high up, deep within the mountain itself. The water that came in this natural baths inside the cave was ice cold, but rich and pure. Drink the clearest waters, the most blessed waters at all times. She taught us about moving and removing the garments. She taught us about allowing and receiving even your own feet being washed by an ascended master self. Can you open yourself up to receive such humility, such beauty, such power on this new moon receiving it in such ways that everything even the smallest detail 
is special for you. Give yourself this time now to see that every little thing that's being presented to you is used as a spiritual device, a mantra, a mudra, a gift from deeper knowledge. How would you walk? How would you talk to others? Would you rush to answer an email or would you take your time and contemplate on what is my authentic self embodying? And even if you had patterns in the past or observed patterns in others, how can you even use those patterns to transcend those without judging anyone as lesser or more? But can you be that divine feminine heroine that goes upon your day that can find a medicine, a self-acceptance, a deeper understanding in the smallest, most mundane things in life. Can every day be a heroine's journey? where you go about and do your life, find an angle, find a way, a sound, a color, a sacred geometry that can crystallize, that can transmute that mundane into the gold each moment. Can you invite that one that knows, that had the gnosis, the deeper knowledge are you willing to allow for the depths of your self to arise within you can you become that strong urge, calling that one that you came here to be. Imagine yourself filling up with this inspired potency that without pushing, trying, fixing, overstraining can simply become it in this divine timing. Can you see yourself open, unfold? Are you willing to see the lotus flower, rice,
Who am I becoming now? What is my deepest want? What do I actually like? What do I actually dislike? And how can we embody our own deepest truth now in the mundane, in the small steps, in an organized matter that's not overbearing, but deep, absolute comfort in knowing that you're doing it now. Let's bring our hands on our hearts and just breathe into the heart. And know that you are doing it, that you're on the journey, or else you wouldn't be here. If you can ask the questions and dream the vision, then it is your reality already. Move with this deepest, strongest awareness now. Do it for you. And then you will automatically release your knowledge your I am presence as you rise into the earth itself and into the highest Godhead of that soul, that web that holds all of humanity together. Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the strength, thank you for the knowing, thank you for my dreams, ambitions, thank you for my body and my life, and thank you for all, that is the all. Take a breath, come back in to your physical body, feel rooted and grounded, and eyes open. Thank you, thank you, thank you.